To follow these nerves, we'll move forward to the orbit again. We'll divide and displace the two muscles in the roof of the orbit. These are the levator of the upper eyelid, levator palpebris superioris, and beneath it, the superior rectus muscle. Here's the optic nerve, as we've seen already. Here's the superior oblique muscle going round its pulley, or trochlea. Here are the medial rectus and lateral rectus muscles. We'll go round to a front view to see the nerves better. The ocular motor nerve divides into an upper and lower branch. Here's the upper branch supplying the levator palpebris superioris and superior rectus muscles. To see the lower branch, we'll remove the optic nerve. Here again are the medial and lateral rectus muscles. Down here is the inferior rectus. The only muscle not on view here is the inferior oblique, which is beneath the eyeball here. Here's the lower branch of the oculomotor nerve. It supplies the medial rectus and inferior rectus and the inferior oblique muscles. In addition, by these tiny, short ciliary branches, the oculomotor nerve gives parasympathetic motor supply to muscles within the eye which cause constriction of the pupil, the sphincter pupillae and ciliary muscles. Here's the trochlear nerve, the fourth cranial nerve. It supplies just the superior oblique muscle. Here's the abducent nerve, the sixth, supplying its one muscle, the lateral rectus, which abducts the eye. We'll be returning to the orbit once again in just a minute to look at branches of the fifth nerve, the trigeminal. For now, we'll replace the contents of the orbit, including this nerve, the frontal nerve, which is part of what we'll come to next.